Hello children, how are you all? We'll continue our lesson, lesson number 9, the earth our habitat. Topic is GPS. What is the full form of GPS? The full form of GPS is Global Positioning System. With the help of Global Positioning System, you come to know the latitudinal and longitudinal line of any place through mobile phones and Google Earth. The latitudinal and longitudinal location of any place with the help of mobile phones which have internet access. Suppose if you want to go an, an unfamiliar place, at that time you start your GPS on your mobile phone, enter the destination, you can easily get your destina destination. If you want to go at any place in the world with the help of GPS. Now, next topic is major longitude. Total longitudes are 360 longitude, but 0 degree longitude and 180 longitudes are important. Now first is green which mean time line. The 0 degree longitude is also called prime meridian which passes through green with city, city of England. It divides the earth into two half, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. The longitude up to 180 degree east of Greenwich line is called Eastern Hemisphere. The longitude up to 180 degree west is called Western Hemisphere. Now second is International Date Line. The longitude 180 degree is called International Date Line. It passes through Pacific Ocean. It is in the zigzag form. 180 degree line is called international date line. Here this line is called the international date line. It passes through Pacific Ocean. Here you see it is in the zigzag form. Why it is zigzag form? If suppose if it, if it is drawn straight, is straight, it will cross some island or some countries because of which two dates will mix up on the same island. Here you see if suppose if it straight if it is straight, uh, if it is drawn straight, here you see in this country, Russia, it will, uh, while going to the other side of the country, the date may change, okay. Suppose, if we move from western hemisphere to eastern hemisphere, the one day is extended. And when we move from eastern hemisphere to western hemisphere, one day is deducted. Now to prevent this confusion, the line is deviated roughly. This line is drawn on the sea, not on the land. Earth is divided into three zones. First is torrid zone, second temperate zone and third is frigid zone. Here you see this is our earth. Earth is divided into two parts, east, uh, north pole and south pole. Suppose this is a line of, suppose this is an imaginary line, prime, mani, prime meridian. It also divided the earth into two equal half, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. Now this is equator. Now 23.5 degree south latitude to 23.5 north latitude, these regions come in the tropical zone. Okay. Now, Latitude 66.5 degrees south latitude to 66.5 north latitude, they come in the temperate zone. Okay, now, now this is frigid zone. Now this is an imaginary line equator. Equator divides the earth into two equal half. North Pole and South Pole. And now suppose this is a 0, 90 degree. This is a, suppose this is imaginary line 0 degree. It divides the earth into two hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere and Western Hemisphere. Now this is equator. 23.5 degree South Latitude to 23.5 North Latitude is known as tropical zone because here sun rays directly falls on this region. Now, 20, uh, 
23.5 south latitude is called the temperate zone and 23.5 north latitude to 66.5 north latitude this region is called the temperate zone and here is 23.5 degree south latitude to 66.5 degree south latitude is called the temperate zone okay now here this is the frigid zone 66.5 degree to 90 degree latitude is frigid zone and 66.5 south latitude to 90 degree south latitude is called the frigid zone now here this region tropical region is excessive heat why excessive heat because sun rays directly fall uh, falls on this area now this region is called temperate zone because here sun rays uh, sun rays falls slanted okay now here in frigid zone sun rays falls highly slanted now next topic is types of motion of the earth rotation and revolution what do you mean by rotation as the top rotates on its axis in the same way earth also rotate on its axis in which direction from west to east direction this circular motion of earth is called daily motion it is also called rotation the earth completes one rotation of 1670 kilometers per hour on equator it takes 24 hours to complete this rotation now what is revolution second is revolution the earth revolves around the sun as it rotates on its axis it takes about 365 days to complete its revolution an imaginary way to earth's rotation around the sun is known as orbit earth do not move in a circular way it moves in a elliptical form means in a oval shape form it moves in a oval shape form distance between the sun and earth is not the same the earth rotate on its axis by making the angle of 23.5 degree and 66.5 degree on its orbit due to this motion of earth the season circles days and night are extended and shortened as the top rotates on its axis in the same way earth also rotates on its axis due to daily rotation of the earth day and night occur globe is a small replica of the earth earth is tilted towards one side here you see it is tilted towards one side now due to daily daily rotation of the earth day and night occur suppose if you see in this area only half of the area get sunlight now it means this area experiences day and other areas there is dark means there is a night each part of the earth experiences here you see darkness from light and light from darkness each part of earth experiences morning afternoon and evening in your textbook page number 58 54 figure 9.11 here you see day and night i already explained you with the help of globe okay now in your textbook figure 9.11 now there this is a sun now here sun rays directly falls falls on this area okay means in this area they experiences day and here this is the dark area means they experiences the night now every part of the earth experiences day and night because every part of earth comes in front of the sun now sun rays directly fall on 21st june on tropic of cancer and 
on tropic of capricorn on 22nd december where the sun rays directly falls here you see sun rays here directly falls in the adjacent area means here the days are longer and the night are shorter when the sun rays falls diagonally means in the opposite direction the days are short and the nights are long while days and nights are same same on 21st march here means you see 21st march and 23rd september day and night are equal because sun and the equator intersect each other twice in a year means 21st march and 23rd september here sun and the equator intersect each other now from 22nd march to 22nd september here the sun rays directly falls on these areas it means these areas are experiences days are long and nights are shorter okay during equinox sun moves towards the north hemisphere from 22nd march length of days increases and night becomes short now in this area and 21st june is the longest day now from 22nd september to 22nd march here the days are shorter and the night are longer now in these two days 21st march and 22nd september the sun rays directly falls on the equator it means there is no difference in the day and night the day and night are the same now what is leap year one year is equal to 365 days and 6 hours now this 6 hour is very difficult to calculate now this 6 hour is added in every four year in the month of february means for february has 28 days and in every four years in the month of february it will 29 days this is a calendar of the month february 2020 now 2020 here 29 days now in which year the leap year will come calculate the now the leap year will come in the fourth year okay it means it comes in the 24 means to 2024 or previously kab hua tha leap year it comes in the 2016 in every four years leap year will come now leap year it means 29 days in in february now what do you mean by eclipse we get light from sun and moon we get light from sun and moon sun is self illuminated and shines brightly while the moon is illuminated with the light of the sun illuminated part is seen on earth on different days and occasion when moon or the sun seems to be completely or partially disappearing because one of them in passing between the other and the earth in such situation it is eclipse now in page 56 figure 9.3 what do you mean by solar eclipse here you see moon is close to the earth it revolves around the earth sometimes while revolving it comes between the sun and the earth now when it revolves sometimes it comes between the sun and the earth at this time as the shadow of moon constant sun is not visible it tab sun nahi dikhai deta sun is not visible this event is called solar eclipse as the moon is very small here you see moon is very small as compared to the sun 
इट कैन नॉट कवर होल सन नाउ ये पूरे सन को कवर नहीं कर रहा ओनली स्मॉल पार्ट ओके द सोलर एक्लिप्स कैन नॉट बी सीन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड टुगेदर एक साथ कभी भी सोलर एक्लिप्स पूरे वर्ल्ड में नहीं दिखाई देता है सूरज सोलर एक्लिप्स अकर ऑन नो मून डे बट दिस इवेंट डज नॉट टेक प्लेस ऑन एवरी नो मून डे नाउ वॉट डू मीन बाय लूनर एक्लिप्स हेयर moon comes in between the earth and the sun here you see earth comes between the moon and the sun now moon get light as you know moon get light from the from the light of the sun okay moon get light from the sun if the sun rays going towards the moon आर ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टेड बाय द अर्थ देखिए आर ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टेड मीन्स नहीं जाएगा पूरा इधर पे आर ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टेड बाय द अर्थ देन द पार्ट ऑफ मून ये जो पार्ट है मून का इट मीन्स डार्क मीन्स शेडो इधर पड़ेगा ओके इट मीन्स डार्क क्योंकि अर्थ बीच में आ गया है तो मून आर ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टेड बाय द अर्थ हेयर यू सी मून आर ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टेड बाय द अर्थ देन द पार्ट ऑफ मून रिमेन्स डार्क इन नेचुरल दैट मच पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ शेडोज फॉल ऑन मून इधर देखिए मून पे अर्थ शेडो शेडो पड़ रहा है ओके दिस पार्ट इज नॉट विजिबल टू अर्स विच इज कॉल्ड लूनर एक्लिप सच इवेंट्स अकर ऑन फुल मून नाइट बट सच इवेंट्स डू नॉट टेक प्लेस ऑन एवरी फुल एंड एंड हेयर यू सी रीजन वे लूनर एक्लिप्स इज विजिबल इधर पे लूनर एक्लिप्स इज विजिबल ना थैंक यू